So this will be part two. I've uh, moved my machine inside and I've had a couple minor difficulties, but I um, but this I have to use my phone for the zoom of the offline controller so you can see specifically what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So over here, let's go ahead and get the offline controller. And let's go ahead and um, put, let's go ahead and turn it on. Power it on. We've got everything secure here, just like before. And so what you're going to see, I'm going to try and do my best to keep a slow hand. And then so you can see this. Um, so you have your, your exit, your step, your X, uh, X minus plus, Y minus plus, your Z, and then of course your screen. The CTRL is control on your screen and the file is when we're getting ready to cut. So in this, in this instance, I'm going to go ahead and click on the center one on the control and you're going to see the Z plus minus on your screen, the SP 10% is spindle, and you've got your Y plus, your Y minus, your SP in the middle, and then your X plus and your 10. The 10 is your steps. So basically, if we're going to move, let's say we move the, the X to the right, you're going to see my machine move, that's going at 10 millimeters. If I click the exit button, it's going to lower it down to uh, 0 0.1, 1, 5, 10. So if I say 1, it moves a little bit. I like doing that when I do the up and down Z. While I have it here, we can do up and down. As you can see it's going. Move that up a little bit. So basically what you're going to want to do is do all of them. You're going to do X plus. I'm going to jump this up a little bit to five. You're going to do X minus, uh, Y, Y minus, that way. And so you'll also notice the SP is at 10%. How you change that is you hold the OK button and you push the Z plus and that basically is if we click OK it's going to run your motor or your spindle at 10% or if you hold it in and push Z plus it'll go 50%, 100% or you can go back down to 10% or even 1%. I'm going to leave it at 10 and let go and then just click the center button here at the OK and your spindle should come on. If it does not I will stop the video and check your wiring, but so click it again, turns it off, and so then now that we've tested all of it and everything um, that we have that, let's go ahead and set the um, let's set let's, let's install our bit, let's set it, and right where we want it, right where we want to start the file at. So I'm going to go ahead and set this down, and I'm going to install the bit if you haven't already. I'm going to use my one millimeter bit here. If you can see, probably too small. You'll be able to see it. You got to go to your home's website to get these fancy bits. And I'm going to put that in. Whoops. Install it. Let's get our wrenches. Tighten this up. Okay. So now that we have it installed, let's use the offline controller and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put this bit where we want to start our carve carbon. Now I just have a square, just for example purposes. You may have a whole thing here. So what you're going to want to do is on your material, put this bit where you want it to start. Because remember, you're not controlling it from the computer. It's already on, the, it's already on this card. It's already downloaded and um, it's going to run exactly where it needs to go. So let's go ahead and use the controller to move the bit around a little bit. I'm at uh, 5 and I should be able to come down. Not too much here. And I'm going to come forward. I'm actually going to come over so you can see the new card. It doesn't really matter, it's wherever you want it on your board. I'm actually going to put mine right here. So 
I'm coming close to the board, and I don't know if you remember my other videos, I told you about the paper method to just so that it just touches the paper. Maybe just a little bit more, but just touches the paper. So I'm actually going to change my step to 1. So click the exit button, that's 0.01, but I'm going to change it to 1, and then I'm going to move my z-axis down just till it touches, and that's, that's pretty much it. But I'm going to go just not quite, so I'm going to change this to 0.1. And now I'm going to go down again. And it goes very, there we go. So that's really snug right there. So that's what I want right there. So I'm going to leave that. So that's perfect for me. So now that, now that we've got the bit exactly where I want it started, we've tested everything, what you're going to do is hold the exit step in. And that's going to bring us back over to the menu. And then you're going to go down to file. This is up and down, by the way. And then we're going to click OK on the file. And then we're going to click Untitled, which was the name of our file. And then we're going to click OK. And now it's ready to go. So when this is done, I will come back and finish this. So we're going to click OK to start it. Okay, so if you notice, it did not shut off. So I knew it wasn't going to. After I tried a couple times, there is a flaw still in the easel exported G-code. So just real quick, um, I'm going to show you how to go past that. So let's go ahead and exit. Uh, let's go ahead and eject the card out of this device here, or out of the offline controller. Let's put it in the computer, and I'm going to show you all you need to do. It's really easy. And so let's put it in the computer real quick. Insert my card. Don't mind all my icons. And basically, here is the file. And so if you install the Note, uh, Notepad++, like I had uh, mentioned in the previous video, if you right click on that file, the untitled, and click Edit with Notepad++, so we put an M5 at the end, which is supposed to make it stop. Not sure why, but it's really finicky. So basically, what we gotta do now is just come to the end of M5 and hit enter. It's gonna end, it's gonna hit another carriage return in line feed. I don't know why it needs that extra one, but it does. So let's go ahead now and save that. So what I do is I went to the end of M5, clicked it, hit enter, and it made another carriage return save it and then I'm going to close notepad plus plus and I'm going to close the uh, 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 explorer and then I'm going to come back to my laser we're going to take the card out and we're just going to put it back in the offline controller let me get my camera does not want to be my friend And now that we have it powered on, what we want to do is we're going to want to click on control. We're going to want to put the bit back where we wanted it, um, wanted it to be before. So we've got to basically start over again. So let's, I'm going to lower down my stepping to uh, one millimeter. I'm going to move this over. I'm actually going to come down. And then I'm going to lower my Z. Whoa, too far. And I think that's actually pretty good. I'm going to actually come up a little bit. So I'm going to just come to point, 0 
just so I can come up a little bit. I might actually come up a little bit more. Maybe a little more. That's okay right there. So now that we have it right where we want to start at, what I'm going to do is you hold the exit step, and then we're going to go down to File, we're going to click OK, we're going to come down to the Untitled. Now this is the new one that we added an extra carriage return at the end. And remember this is only with easel for whatever reason. And then we're going to click OK, and then we're going to click OK again, and let it run. see so as you can see it went ahead and stopped for whatever reason that extra carriage return did it so that pretty much is it um, basically all you're going to do is you're going to use the offline controller to navigate your spindle and go up to control uh, where you want it where your starting position is going to be uh, with your X your Y and your Z axis you're going to want to zero that out and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. After that, I mean, you pretty much did your design in your software, whether it's, you know, uh, uh, easel or whatever it may be, and uh, kind of go from there. So I hope that helps to get you started. If you have any questions.